Hey everybody. Um, so for those that haven't heard the news, there's some big changes happening with Google My Business. Um, it is mostly a rebrand, but there are changes that are coming down the pipe that are going to change the way that you're going to be able to manage your Google My Business listing. Part of that is part of the rebrand aspect is it's going to start being called Google Business Profile. So I wanted to record this quick video to give you a snapshot of what is changing. Um, I talked to a lot of appliance repair business owners and um, they really rely on the mobile app to manage their business's online profile. So um, this is going to change and I wanted to um, not only um, describe what's changing but also give a snapshot of how we do things now for the Google My Business profile and how we are going to need to do things for the Google Business profile moving forward. Um, first, I want to help you um, set your mind at ease. You are not losing reviews, you're not losing photos, you're not losing anything as a result of this change. If you are having any issues with reviews, photos, suspensions, verification loops, that is a completely separate situation um, that uh, does not have to do with this branding and platform change. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive into things. So um, what is being changed? So the web-based Google My Business dashboard is going to only be available for multiple location businesses like your franchises and whatnot. And they're also rebranding it to Google Profile Manager. Um, this change is going to happen at some point in 2022. We don't know exactly when, um, but we have that, that big open <laughs> date of 2022. The Google My Business app is going to be disabled also sometime in 2022. So once these are um, finalized, right now you can manage your business profile through search or maps, um, but once number one and number two are finalized, this will be the only way for you to be able to manage your business profile is through search and maps. Um, so with that being said, let's take a look at how you um, can expect to interact with Google My Business now, starting from the app. So um, from the app, you would use the customers um, option or tab to be able to interact with your customers via reviews and messages. Um, you would use the profile button or the profile area of the app to change all of the business information, make sure that your address, service area, phone number, website, etc., etc., is up to date and accurate. Um, and then this profile area of the app would also be where you can create posts and post photos. Now, let's go to the web based GMB dashboard. The way that it is now, um, you navigate to business.google.com. And then on the left side, you see that you have all of these options. Some of these are, um, uh, most of these are also available in the app. Some of these are only available in the web browser. Notice that I did not select website down here at the bottom. You can still um, create, publish, and manage your GMB website. Um, it is unclear to us whether this is still going to be available once the transition is fully made. Um, and then uh, now let's get into what things are what things are going to be looking like um, in the future. Well, what they look like now, but what you can expect um, for the future once this transition is finalized. Um, so when you're on the home page of your Google My Business dashboard, you can see that there is a nice little video from Google that kind of helps explain some of the changes. And you have a button that um, you can click where it says try it on search and it'll take you directly to manage your business profile on search. Um, but another way is that you can go to google.com, make sure that you're logged into your email account that's set up as a manager or owner of your Google My Business listing, type in and search the term my business, and then scroll down until you see the business profiles you manage and select to view the profile that you are looking at managing. Um, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do show like a live example of what this looks like. 
Um, and then at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how you can access the same um, new interface, but from the Maps app. Um, so as you can see, um, I am logged in to the account that manages this Google My Business um, or Google Business Profile. You can click on this link right here and it's going to bring up your performance insights. You can click on this button that says Edit Profile and you can change all of this kind of business information. You can click on this button that says Customers and you can manage your reviews, messages, and as you can see, you can also view calls and interact with your questions and answers. Now, on the right side, this is kind of the, the rich snippet that represents your business profile. Um, this is what people are most likely to see when um, you are showing up after they've searched for something that you have to offer here on the right side. You can also click this link that says edit your business information and you'll be able to access the same kind of info to edit. All right, so if you're using a mobile device and you're using the Maps app, um, the way that you would get to this new interface would be um, from the Maps app, make sure that you're logged into the correct email account, click that icon that is your um, profile photo, then select your business profiles, and then select the business profile that you want to manage, and then you're going to be met with the mobile version in the Maps app that allows you to edit the same things that I just showed you a second ago.